Jason Rosillo reporting live inside the Detroit Science Center. We're here for the new exhibit, Accidental Mummies of Guadalajara. 36 mummies in all. And come on down here to check out the exhibit. I think it's fantastic the way this museum has made the museography, the reproduction of the site, the history behind each of the mummies is impressive. But the mummies themselves, they are impressive because they come from the world's most beautiful city, which is Guanajuato. This is an old mining town which has the characteristic, the unique characteristic of underground streets, which used to be the tunnels of the mine. And that's the way the mummies came to be. So I would invite everybody, Latinos, Hispanics, everybody, Afro-Americans and Americans, to come and visit this great exhibition. It's fantastic. Being joined by Wayne County Executive Robert Fracano, how are you? Doing excellent. Very good. So what do you think of the new mummies exhibit here at the Science Center? Well, I think uh, culturally it's great to see uh, Mexico. This is the first time uh, any of these mummies have been really outside of uh, Mexico. And it shows, uh, you know, uh, the cultural exchange that can happen between our two great countries. And uh, there's a strong tie to Mexico, obviously, not only in southwest Detroit, but really throughout the Detroit metropolitan region. Former President uh, Vicente Fox was here. What did you think about him coming by and seeing the exhibit? It was nice of him, and uh, I think this is the second time in about three months that he's been here. So he seems to like uh, Detroit and the area. So, But it was uh, inspiring to see him. All right. Anything else you could tell us here today at the exhibit? I think it, uh, it's inspiring. People should come down and see it. Uh, I think it's a feather in the cap uh, of the Science Center for what they've been able to do. Uh, it's the first exhibition like this outside of Mexico. So uh, uh, many times uh, you don't hear a lot of firsts in Detroit, but this is certainly one of them. What do you think of the exhibit so far? I think it's awesome. I think it's great. I, think I like uh, how they've got it set up. There's a nice flow to it. It's fascinating. Very interesting. So I understand that you worked on some of these mummies here, or? Yes, I did the, the CT scans on some of the mummies. So how long did that take to do? We did it in two sessions. It was two different weekends. Um, did three one weekend and four the other. It took roughly about a half hour to do each one. So you, you d identified who some of these were, or? Yes, yeah. I recognized them and helped figure out some of the diagnosis on them. Yeah, it was fun. Did you hear the comments from Mr. Fox earlier today? Yes, I did. What did you think of his speech? I thought it was nice. I did too. I thought it was interesting. It was nice. Seems very proud. Anything else uh, about the exhibit or the museum you might want to say? Well, I think this museum is like a hidden gem in Detroit because um, when you come down here and you see what they offer, it's just fascinating, but you don't hear too much about it. I, I feel the same way. I think it's fascinating. I haven't been here for years. It's changed a lot. I recommend everyone come down and see it. So what do you think of the new exhibit here at the Science Center? Oh, I think it's fascinating. It shows a unique aspect of Mexican culture that I was completely unaware of. I understand there's like 36 mummies here. 36 accidental mummies. They've just became mummies in their crypts, which I had never heard of before. Yeah. It's very interesting. And the, the, what, the explanations of how, what, how these people lived and their lives was also very interesting. It's, it's not just mummies, it's, it's a whole cultural experience. That's right. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, uh, former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox, was here today. What did you think of his remarks? Oh, I thought they were very, very constructive. He was right on target, talking about building bridges between the United States needs Mexico, Mexico needs the United States for a peaceful North America, productive North America. I thought he was very good. So what did it take for these uh, pieces to get here? Was, was there a lot of, what did it take? It was quite a, took, oh, 
well over a year of negotiations and going down to Mexico and coming and working with the uh, Mexican American community in the uh, United in Detroit. So it's, it's a very uh, cooperative venture. Anything else to add here at the exhibit? I think that's it. I think it's worthwhile. People should come and see it. It's very educational, and it's it's not. People think mummies. It's going to be sort of weird, but it's not at all. It's it's fascinating. I think and. Uh, most interesting. What do you think of this new exhibit here with the mummies? I love it. I think it really reflects about the Mexican culture. Also, each um, each um, um, ex what can I say? Um, display exactly, uh, explain and in, tells more about the life of the people and I really love it. I think it's just great. So the uh, former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox, was here. What did you think of his comments? I think he got important points. I mean because finally we are neighbors and we are trying to do like a difference now and in fact we are in our organization that it called Sapromex, uh, that we are professionals and we are trying to do, you know, an impact here, a positive impact here in the in the United States. Is this your first time coming to Detroit or you've been before? No, no, I had been here since um, 2000. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anything else you could tell us about the exhibit or the museum here? Oh, that people come and visit it because it's really great and it's an amazing effort what they are doing just to bring the exhibit. Yeah. Yeah. lives in Detroit. I was reading this. Yeah. Did you see it morph into him? Mm -hmm. There are 36 mummies here within the exhibit at the Detroit Science Center. Reporting in downtown Detroit, Jason Rosidlo for AmericaJR.com.